Hi guys. It's an interesting time to be looking for the best VR headset, as the market is primed for some shakeups. With PSVR 2 arriving in February 2023, and the metaverse putting more mainstream emphasis on VR than ever before, VR is definitely going to be in the spotlight in the near future. In the here and now, there are some great choices too. The Oculus Quest 2 continues to be the accessible option for most people, whilst higher budget headsets like the HTC Vive Pro 2 are the enthusiasts must buy. To help you navigate these virtual waters, we've rounded up the best VR headsets on the market right now. We've put this guide together based on both our own hands-on experience and by balancing spec lists and price points to find the best value products. Of course, VR isn't the cheapest platform to jump into, especially when times are as hard as they are. For that reason, we try to cater to varying budgets in the list below. These days, it is possible to find some of the best VR headsets for between $300 and $600, so it isn't all doom and gloom. Unfortunately, premium devices can still trickle into the four-figure mark, but if you're looking for the best tech available, we'd argue the money is worth it. Whether you're trying to figure out if PSVR 2 is the best option to go for come the new year, or you're looking for a high-end rig to pair with one of the best gaming PCs, you'll find plenty of buying advice down below. The Oculus Quest 2 is having a bit of a moment. While still the best value VR headset on the market for the majority of players, an August 2022 price hike has increased the final cost to $399 slash 399 pounds for the 128 gigabytes model which is 100 dollars slash 100 pounds more than the previous 299 dollars slash 299 pounds msrp this increase is also reflected on the 256 gigabytes version pushing it up to 499 dollars slash 400 and 99 pounds. That's a considerable blow, especially considering the Quest 2 was the only VR headset catering to this sub $300 slash 300 pounds. Market particularly well. Still, this remains one of the cheapest mid-range options out there, so if you didn't manage to scoop up the old price, it's still worth investigating. While we were a little disappointed to find the Oculus Quest 2 felt a little cheaper than its predecessor in the hands, we found it more comfortable in our testing overall. That's thanks to its lighter form factor, 503 grams as the original 571 grams, and the wider surface area of the thumb rest of the controller. We were also impressed by just how much sharper than resolution is once we strapped this headset on. You're free to roam your surroundings with no limiting tracking area and a super flexible setup overall. This is an all-in-one self-contained unit with a speedy processor and plenty of RAM for today's games to boot. That means you won't need to invest in a high-end gaming PC to keep things running smoothly here. You're all good to go straight out of the box. And it's difficult to understate just how important that is to Oculus Quest 2's value. With so many of the best VR headsets costing well over $500 slash 500 pounds and still requiring a separate PC brain to function, packing the tracking features, high resolution display, 90 Hz frame rate and comfortable experience into a sub $300 slash 300 pounds price point is incredibly impressive. We've even started seeing more and more Oculus Quest 2 deals entering the marketplace in recent months as well. If you're after the best VR headset money can buy, we point in the direction of the HTC Vive Pro 2. We did find that setup process a little tedious in our testing. Potting out the base stations took a long time, and we heavily recommend wall mounting them for the best effect, which will take even longer. You'll need to pick up two Steam VR base stations and motion controllers for the full experience, which will set you back around $600 extra all-in. However, once you do, there's a new level of tracking and motion at your fingertips. One that other VR headsets can sometimes struggle to match 
unless doing so while sacrificing other features. We did notice that the quality of the HTC Vive Pro 2 does reveal itself over time. It took us a couple of days to fully adopt the correct settings for our eyes, so it's worth noting that you'll need some extra tinkering time for the best result. However, once you're there, the investment you've made is well worth it. There are a few features of the Valve Index that we need to get out of the way right at the start. First up is that finger tracking system. Rather than relying on per controller tracking, the Valve Index has stepped where no VR headset has gone before. Adding sensors for each individual finger via a touch-sensitive panel. The second is a 120 Hz refresh rate that will cover for a slightly lower resolution by allowing games to slide across the screen without a hint of a flicker. The Valve Index is a VR headset for those fully invested in the PC gaming space. The specialists that already have the PC humming away in the corner and are looking to put it to the test. While the headset itself costs £499 £459, the full kit will set you back £999-919. That's cheaper than the full price of the HTC Vive Pro 2 and all its gadgets, though you're favoring tracking over resolution this time. With the whole of Steam behind it, you'd be hard-pressed to be bored in this particular virtual world. However, it is worth noting that fewer Steam titles can take full advantage of these unique tracking features, so you're certainly proofing yourself rather than enjoying today's tech with this purchase. There are a few features of the Valve Index that we need to get out of the way right at the start. First up is that finger tracking system. Rather than relying on per controller tracking, the Valve Index has stepped where no VR headset has gone before, adding sensors for each individual finger via a touch-sensitive panel. The second is a 120Hz refresh rate that will cover for a slightly lower resolution by allowing games to slide across the screen without a hint of a flicker. The Valve Index is a VR headset for those fully invested in the PC gaming space. The specialists that already have the PC humming away in the corner and are looking to put it to the test. While the headset itself costs £499-£459, the full kit will set you back £999-£919. That's cheaper than the full price of the HTC Vive Pro 2 and all its gadgets, though you're favoring tracking over resolution this time. Thanks.